three years. For three years, this diesel heater has been running in my shop, keeping it warm, pretty much running non-stop all winter whenever I was out in here. If you've seen my other videos on this unit, you know that I'm a fan of these inexpensive diesel heaters. Yeah, they're not the best quality, but as far as bang for the buck, they're pretty good. Last weekend, however, this thing finally stopped working on me. The display is still working, I can hear the fuel pump ticking, but alas, it is not pumping out any fuel. I get this error code, E10, which if you look it up seems to be a failed ignition, which could be due to a variety of reasons. My guess is lack of fuel. Fortunately, these things don't seem that difficult to work on. You pull off the cage, you look at it, and most of the parts are exposed. Now, of course, I tried the percussive maintenance method, tapping it a few times to see if it would work, and when that failed, I concluded, let's just go ahead and replace the fuel pump. Fortunately, it doesn't seem parts for these are too difficult to come by. For about 16 or 17 bucks, I was able to order this replacement fuel pump off of Amazon, and it looks like it's pretty much plug and play. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go ahead and replace that fuel pump, fire it up, and see if that solves the problem. Alright, let's fire it up and see if it works. Fuel is flowing. This might have done the trick. How about that? Simply replacing the fuel pump did the trick. Now I can put this diesel heater back into service. Now before anyone comments, yes, I did run this thing inside. Yes, I did have the exhaust pointing inside. Should you do it? Absolutely not. This was simply a bench test just to see if it would work, and I only ran it for about 60 seconds. Hopefully most of you don't need to be told that if you're running an internal combustion engine, you should always exhaust it outside and not into the air that you're breathing. That being said, hopefully you can see that replacing the fuel pump on this unit is quite simple. It took me all of about five minutes to do, and the tools that I needed were simply a 10 millimeter socket and a wrench to get the rubber grommet mount off, a seven millimeter socket to get the fuel pump clamp off, a needle nose vice grip, which I like to use to pinch the hose closed so I don't leak fuel everywhere, a pair of needle nose pliers to help pull the hoses off and as well as to pull the little clip out of the electrical connector, and this $16 replacement fuel pump from Amazon. So what's the takeaway of this video? I guess it's twofold. One, these inexpensive diesel heaters, I still stand by them. I bought this one three years ago and it served me quite well up until this minor little hiccup. I have a second one that I take camping that was perfect for putting in place, uh, putting into service while this one was down. Two, so far, the thing that did break on this thing was super simple to repair and inexpensive, which is great. And I guess I'll toss a third one in there too. Cheap items like this, or cheap things that you might get from Harbor Freight, I still think are best left to the dilettantes of the world, those that don't mind tinkering, getting things to fit right, and the occasional repair. If you're looking for something that's just going to last forever, then you're going to have to pay out the big bucks in order to get something like that. For that, you're going to have to get a Webasto, an Eberspacher, or something like that. But if you like saving money and working with your hands from time to time, things like these are still good to go in my book. That's it for today, short episode. Just thought I'd bring you along with the journey while I try to fix something to heat my shop. Till the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante wishing you the very best. Keep on tinkering and keep on learning. Have a good one. <laughs>